His Excellency Charles Sovereign was sworn in as the President of the Commonwealth of Dominica on Wednesday. Dominica and Brazil signed a cooperation agreement on water resource management and the Ministry of Education receives donation from a U.S.-based non-profit organization, Bless the Children Incorporated. Hello and welcome to another edition of National Focus. I'm Mervyn Matthew. And I'm Pearl Fontaine. Stay with us for details of the headline stories and others right after this. If you can believe this... Come by my house and let me show you some movies. Why can't you believe this? Some mothers don't believe their own children when they say they've been sexually abused and they don't report it. Remember, if anyone asks to see or touch their private parts, touches them inappropriately, shows them or forces them to touch one's private parts, has sex with them, shows them pornographic material, or deliberately lets them hear or see the act of sex, then it is sexual abuse. Believe your child and report the sexual abuse. For more information about child abuse, contact these agencies. This message brought to you by UNICEF and this station. Welcome back. Time now for the details of the news. His Excellency Charles Savre was sworn in on Wednesday as the 8th President of the Commonwealth of Dominica. I, Charles Angelo Savre, do swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the Commonwealth of Dominica without fear or favor, affection or ill will and that in the execution of the functions of that office, I will honor, uphold, and preserve the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Dominica. So help me God. Wednesday morning's ceremony, which was held at the Parliament building, was attended by Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, members of Cabinet, former Presidents, Speaker of the House of Assembly, members of Parliament, members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the Savre family, and other invited guests. But I assume the office of president without malice or ill will towards anyone, without fear of intimidation, and with respect for the traditions, laws, and constitution of Dominica, which I am sworn to uphold. The Prime Minister, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, in his congratulatory remarks, says President Sarah's new position was well deserved. We live in an era where the constant focus is on the country is on what the country is doing, what the government is giving, and what are the expectations and entitlements of the people. His Excellency Charles Sovereign is recognized and elevated today, today, not as a result of what he got, but in tribute to what he gave our beautiful country, Dominica. <clears throat> the scars of political battle are but temporary. History will, I am sure, record the true legacy of Charles Savre as nation builder par excellence. His Excellency Savre was elected president of Dominica on Monday, September 30th, in accordance with the provisions of Section 19 of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Dominica. The new head of state, who turned 70 on Wednesday, comes to the office of president after a long and distinguished career as a teacher, trade unionist, parliamentarian, diplomat, and government minister. The government of Dominica and Brazil has signed a cooperation agreement in water resource management. The agreement, which was signed last week, was facilitated by the Brazilian Embassy and the Brazilian Cooperation Agency. Director of the agency, Ambassador Fernando Abreu, signed on behalf of the Brazilian government. We are able to uh, share experience with Dominica and also uh, learn from Dominica. It's important that in our uh, model of cooperation, 
we uh, used the horizontal principle of, of uh, cooperation and appropriation in a sustainable way. So we are happy to be here. It's a pleasure. It's important for us uh, to start this cooperation and also to learn from the experience of Dominica. Following the signing of the agreement, Minister Responsible for Water Resource Management, Honorable Reginald Austri, gave details of the agreement. This agreement uh, makes provision for um, technical support in terms of increasing capacity um, and experts in water and sanitation. Uh, it makes provisions for training in your country and maybe in our country. It also makes provisions for balancing the act between electricity and water, uh, since in Dominica most of our water has to be pumped uh, to the higher elevations, and so it costs us a lot in terms of um, electricity costs, so we can um, um, look at that. Um, it also makes provisions for looking at our distribution networks. So I believe it's a very uh, formidable agreement, and there holds a lot of prospects, um, I think, both for our country and your country. We're a very small country, but there's a lot that um, you can still learn from us, um, and we can learn from you. So we're very, very happy uh, that we can uh, very shortly begin to realize the benefits from this very, very important, uh, important um, agreement. In other news, the contribution of the older persons to Dominica's development was the highlight of a senior citizens rally staged in Portsmouth last weekend. Acting President of the National Council on Aging, Nigel Lawrence, spoke to those contributions when he addressed the activity on Sunday. The older persons have contributed to the development of this country. If the older persons did not work hard, did not put their shoulders to the wheel. If these older persons did not do what was necessary to bring Dominica where it is today, we would have never been here under such brilliant um, 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 circumstances. So for that again, I want you to give your round of your hands, give yourselves a round of applause for having walked the walk. At Sunday's rally, hundreds of senior citizens from all across the island gathered to dialogue on how they can further contribute to Dominica's social advancement. Lawrence expressed appreciation to the government of Dominica for the level of interest shown in looking after the needs of the country's senior citizens. Lawrence said the recent opportunity granted to senior citizens by the Roosevelt Scarlet led administration to dialogue with cabinet on matters of concern is a novelty. Every year, for the past three years, the government of Dominica has opened an avenue to us. That is to say, as part of the United Nations agreement, the, United, the government has allowed us, that is the representatives of all the persons, to meet the cabinet face to face and to dialogue on what are the issues that affect all the persons and what the older persons would, demand, would like of the government. So far, we have gotten a lot of the things we've gone to the, to, the, to, the, to the government for. And for that, I would like us to recognize that today we can boast of free me um, medical care for all persons who are over, over a certain age, and that is over 60. We can speak of a lot of other things that the government is doing in that regard. The Senior Citizens Rally formed part of activities held in observance of the Month of the Elderly, which is being celebrated under the theme, Come Walk in My Shoes. In related news, the government of Dominica continues to demonstrate that it is prepared to support and look after the needs of the aging population. Parliamentary representative for the Cottage constituency, Honorable Reginald Austri, in addressing a national senior citizens rally at the Benjamin Park last Sunday, said government has not resisted from tackling the issue of aging in Dominica. He said the Yes We Care social program implemented by the current administration is testimony that it is concerned about the less fortunate elderly among us. The government has instituted what we call the Yes We Care program. And that is a program that seeks to give our unfortunate senior citizens a second chance, an opportunity to have their hair comb, an opportunity to have a decent meal, an opportunity to have their beds made for them at least once a day. So the government is paying somebody to look after these people. And you may want to ask yourself, where are the children of these people? Where are the relatives of these people? We are the neighbors in the communities. Where are they, ladies and gentlemen? They're not there. And these poor people are left to fend for themselves. But I want to say to you that as long as we remain the government of Dominica, 
will continue to stretch our hands across the country and to ensure that our senior citizens are in fact made very comfortable. He said the social and economic well-being of the island's elderly is a priority for this government. Oshri, who is a strong advocate of the elderly, believes they should not be seen as a burden, but as a resource. You have made your contribution to this country. You have done your work in this country. And had it not been for you, I would not have been here. Had I not been taken care of by you, I would not have been here. Had we not received the medical care, I would not be here. Many of us would not have been here. And so your contribution has to be recorded and you have to be recognized for the part that you have played in the development of this country. The senior citizens rally in Portsmouth was the last of a series of activities organized by the Dominica Council on Aging to commemorate the month of the elderly. The four weeks of activities ended on Tuesday, October 1st. In more news, the National Youth Council of Dominica held an official ceremony on Monday to install its new executive. Chief Youth Development Officer John Roach, in his brief remarks, encouraged the youth to be creative and passionate. He urged them to participate in the plans and the programs outlined for them over the next two years. Roach elaborated on the theme of the Council, Youth Empowerment for Sustainable Development. He believes the contribution of the youth in Dominica can influence the Caribbean region. Creativity, passion and participation are critical elements of strong leadership. With the changing environment, our youth must lead the way in Caribbean development. Therefore, we must position our youth leaders in Dominica to be change agents in the Caribbean. The future of the Caribbean is in the hearts, the minds, and the palms of our youth. Despite the common perception of youth as a burden and cost to Caribbean states, Caribbean youth have been making significant, significant contributions to the development of the region. Education Minister Honorable Peter Sejar represented the Honorable Prime Minister Rose Vazkerit at Monday's ceremony. The minister told council members that the government of Dominica recognizes the youth of the island as agents of change. The government of Dominica recognizes the power of youth. In fact, the Prime Minister of Dominica is still very much a young person. And so we recognize the power of youth, that you are the agents of change. And so put yourself in the know. Take advantage of the opportunities in education. I call on you, therefore, to dialogue with the young people. Please do not allow yourselves to be pushed into believing that education is not important. In fact, as government, we recognize the all importance of education of the masses, more so our young people. And that is why the government of Dominica is currently expending tremendous resources to provide every young Dominican with quality education. He encouraged the youth to take advantage of the opportunities created by the current administration, which is designed to empower them. Honorable Justina Charles, Minister for Youth, shared similar sentiments. The role of the government in empowering our young people is to provide an enabling environment, is to provide you with the necessary skills and resources that is required within the economic climate in which we operate so that we can accomplish much for our young people. Jaisaya Binwise, President of the Council, Bert Paul is Chairperson of the General Assembly, and Nidej Roach is First Vice President. And Arisa August is Kainago Youth Representative, Natasha Jovier and Dion Ansem will serve as CARICOM Youth Ambassadors. The NYC President outlined a number of initiatives the Executive hopes to achieve over the next two years. He also pledged his support to the development of the youth of Dominica. On behalf of the general membership of the council, the district youth councils, and the incoming executive board, I pledge the unwavering commitment to uplifting the torch of the NYCD to a new plateau in its history, where the council can provide a wider range of development services to the youth of Dominica. It is my firm belief that the creativity of our youth is our most valuable and abundant resource. We must empower Dominica's youth so that they can bring their creativity and talents to bear in shaping a positive future for themselves, their families, and communities across this country. 
In more news, outgoing Director General of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, Dr. Len Ishmael, is encouraged by the leadership role that the government of Dominica has taken in its geothermal energy pursuits. Dr. Ishmael, who attended a Geothermal Development Partners Forum in Dominica last week, endorsed the plan to develop Dominica's geothermal resources. She describes the decision by Dominica to move away from the dependence on fossil fuels as forward-thinking and and visionary. This provides a, a, a wonderful opportunity to say how incredible, incredibly proud I am of Dominica and the fact that uh, this administration has played such a leadership role in ensuring that Dominica uses the resources that Dominica has to spearhead its, its own development so that all of this work, all of this investment that has gone with respect of geothermals is really going to open a new era of social and economic development for Dominica that is going to be the legacy that people associated with it right now, the government, the prime minister, ministers involved and all the development partners that have supported this are going to provide as a birthright for Dominicans who grow up after this period of time. I mean, it's just going to be huge. It hasn't yet happened anywhere in, in, in the OECS where we have had this level of investment, this advancement of geothermals to reduce the dependency on fossil fuels, which are just so expensive. Preliminary estimates suggest that geothermal power potential in Dominica could be significant and may very well be the largest in the region. The government of Dominica last week met with a number of regional and international partners to promote the viability of the geothermal energy development in the Roseau Valley. The geothermal resource development in Dominica is a national priority and is an integral part of the country's growth and social protection strategy. And finally, this news time, the contents of a 40-foot container of educational material was officially handed over to the Ministry of Education on Wednesday. The donation of teaching resources, educational equipment, and school furniture was donated by John and Brenda Scanelli of Bless the Children, Inc., a non-profit organization based in Virginia in the United States. This donation goes a long way in the fulfillment of our education vision, Every Child Succeeds. Research have proven that students learn best when they have the requisite tools to facilitate their learning. Hence, if we are to ensure that our students succeed, in addition to providing the human resource capacity within our schools, we must also pay particular attention to the resources which make teachers' tasks easier and student learning more exciting and profound. I am convinced that the resources donated by Mr. and Mrs. Connelly will contribute greatly to the performance of our students in this regard. Bless the Children, Inc. is dedicated to helping children worldwide. John and Brenda Connelly have a long history of community service within the U.S. and the Caribbean. It's with great pleasure and enthusiasm that John and I, along with our partners Tropical Shipping and Bless the Children, present to the Ministry of Education the contents of one 40-foot container filled with educational resources, teaching materials, and school furnishings. We hope these items will enhance the teaching and learning process and assist in attaining the goals identified in the September 2013 Ministry publication, Education Matters. As I read this magazine, I realized how John's and my personal philosophies about education and child development are in alignment with the mission and goals of the Ministry of Education. A tropical shipping also partnered with the Scanellis by defraying ocean freight costs. This partnership has allowed the non-profit organization to expand its focus to supplying educational material to six islands in the Caribbean. This event today allows us as corporate citizens to focus on our contributions to those we serve, particularly in education. When John and Brenda invited us to partner with Bless the Children Inc. and the Ministry of Education as we did in 2009, it was not a matter of if, but instead of how to make it happen yet another time. In the midst of contracting economies, it, is, it was the purity of their cause that drove the successful outcome of us being here today. 
This is the sixth time that Dominica has benefited from the generosity of the Bless the Children, Inc. And that's the English segment of the news. McPherson St. Louis is next with the Creole Highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole, non moins c'est McPherson St. Louis. Premièrement, ancien ministre gouvernement Charles Savren s'est monté comme le 8e président Dominique Jodéa. Cérémonie là prend place en l'occasion parlement à 11 h bon matin. Juge l'audience en leadership Bonnie Stevenson s'est monté président Savren en l'office. Cérémonie là été attendue par premier ministre Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, membre cabinet Justice Earl Thomas, ancien président et madame Ayo, speaker Honorable Alex Boyd Knight, Dot mam parliament, mam diplomatic corps, famille président Savre en parmi d'autres, Monsignor Justus Thomas et Evangelist Peter R. Augustine, délivré la prière. Président Savre électé en position sala en caille parlement à ce 30 septembre l'année 2013. Président Savre venu en position sala après été travaillé en plusieurs d'autres positions diverses capacités. Nous essayons en service d'information gouvernement qu'a souhaité président Savre. Bon succès. À la nouvelle, messieurs, mesdames, ministre de l'Éducation, qui a continué à taper assistance, Rodion, famille, l'Amérique, John et puis Brenda Scanelli, bagaille, matériaux, éducation. Une présentation prend place bon matin là, en stadium Windsor Park, où là, c'est matériaux là, présenté par le ministre de l'Éducation. Parole délivrée, votre permanent secrétaire, ministre de l'Éducation, Marcel Powell, Brenda Scanelli et chef officier éducation, Mélina Fontaine. Toutes ces foussiers éducation là, oui, merci, Famis Canelli, pour donation là, et puis fait parole que vous qui servi yo avancé éducation négion en paix là. Madame Scanelli aussi fait parole à plaisir pour donation là. Madame Melina Fontaine, c'est chef officier éducation Dominique. Yo, um, fait un uh, 40 feet container avec um, supplies pour l'école, um, furniture, desk, chair. Um, bagay pour mettre l'école servi, le yon ka moutoué um, sa fa le son yon. So, um, jodi ya nou ka yon ka ni, nou ka ni ceremony ya pou yon hand over to nou. Um, tout se bagay sa la yon ka yon nan l'école, eve yon ke fe mette l'école, fe travail yon plime. Um, osi yon mene otan um, surprise, pour nous, ça moutoué, ça fait nous mathématiques. Parce que nous avons autant de problèmes en mathématiques, et bien nous n'est pour, um, nous n'est pour faire en manière pour faire ça fait nous um, faire plus meilleur dans mathématiques. So nous remercions pour tout ça et nous menons bien nous. Alors, nous voulons le département Fouwe qui a créé à ces populations pour ne pas embêter quoi pour payer là. Selon l'office du département là, Marshall Sultan, Moun si vous avez été allé la chasse ces animaux là. Quoi pour là, tu as dit qu'il y a une disease là qui a créé qui tu m'as aussi créé. Il y a eu un peu d'extinct. Nous voulons dire qu'il y a eu un peu d'extinct. Nous voulons dire qu'il y a eu un peu d'extinct. Il 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 y a eu un peu d'extinct. Pas tuer quoi pour la, pas mettre bite quoi, grandma zone à place qui n'est quoi pour. So, hunting, management à la cour, c'est ça nous voulons dire, mon chébé, ça y'a fait, et fait quoi pour la vivre pas quoi yo. A boire c'est quoi pour la, because quoi pour le se bite tout le monde, l'Angleterre, l'Amérique, kagade sa forestry, et puis douva me café, et puis quoi pour la. So, me voulons dire, mon dominique, et boire c'est quoi pour la, qu'on dit, et c'est ça non, because parce que c'est ça non. Et puis finalement, le ministère de la Culture, Honorable Justine Charles, a créé à ces populations là pour mettre des différences à ses côtés, saison en dépendance de cela. Le ministère Charles fait parole de cela pendant cette cérémonie pour être ouvert en dépendant du week-end qui passait. Et de même si nous avons des différences à nous, en dépendant si on les monde à faire tout le bagage en l'on est pays là. En même temps aussi, le chef officier de la Culture, Raymond Lawrence, Fais pas wal ka kwe a se moun pou komitman a yo Développement National Saison Sala. Fem pou l'ane 2013 se yo misyon, yo Dominique, se li boue 35. Mese mesdames, sa se tout pou nou vel kwe hol pou a pwezan. Non mwen, se Mac Fousin Senlos, 
Mais avant nous aller, nous ici en service et formation gouvernement, je voulais souhaiter le président uh, Charles Savern bon succès. Voilà. Et coming up next, your tip of the day. Do you have uncovered water storage drums around your home? Do you dispose of old tires, cans, and old containers capable of holding water anywhere in your environment? Are you being bitten by mosquitoes, particularly at dusk and early morning? Do you keep houseplants in water? Do you spend your hard-earned cash to control mosquitoes? Has your community experienced dengue fever outbreaks? If your answer is yes to at least three questions above, you are at risk to dengue fever. Join the fight against dengue fever. The responsibility for a dengue-free Dominica lies with you. So, get rid of the Aedes aegypti mosquito. mosquito. Remember, the thoughts that you think and the statements you make regarding yourself determine your mental attitude. If you have a worthwhile objective, find the one reason why you can achieve it rather than hundreds of reasons why you can't. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or you can visit our website at news.gov. Yeah. Friend us on our Facebook page and be sure to like our GIS Dominica fan page. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Mervyn Matthew. And I'm Pearl Fontaine. Thank you for watching.